Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss the problem of the day from Geeks for Geeks for 7th of January. The problem's name is flattening a linked list and the problem states that given a linked list of size n uh, where every node represents a sub linked list and contains two pointers, a next pointer to the next node and a bottom pointer to the linked list where this node is the head. Each of the sub linked list is in sorted order. So basically this is the sub linked list what they are talking about, the ones that are connected by the bottom pointer. So if each of them are uh, like in the sorted order, as you can see clearly over here, it's 5, 7, 8, 30, it's uh, 19, 22, 50, 28, 35, 40, 45. So these are all sorted. We have to flatten the uh, linked list such that all the nodes appear in a single level while maintaining the sorted order. The flattened linked list will be printed using the bottom pointer instead of the next pointer. All right. So then they have given us an example over here. However, there is a problem in the question itself. So, firstly, there is the ambiguity when they are calling uh, like all the, okay, so it was, okay, over here when they are saying that flatten the link list such that all the nodes appear in a single level. So, when generally we, when we talk about levels, we talk about the horizontal fashion, right? So, they should have actually said that uh, they should like be bot uh, bottom connected. So, they have also said that it has to be bottom connected, but they have also mentioned this. So this is one of the ambiguity. The another ambiguity is that uh, when they are giving the answer to this particular question, so all of these need, uh, all of these uh, nodes are actually connected by a bottom fashion, but in the answer they have used these arrows. So these denote a next pointer. So yeah, the explanation is pretty bad. I'll say. Don't worry, I'm to the rescue, and I'm gonna explain it what it exactly means. So let's say this is the linked list, right? So I'm just taking uh, example where we have a linked list of one next pointer and these are the bottom pointers. Mm. This much I guess you already got. So this is basically the next pointer. Okay. Let me make it better. So this is the node that you all know. This is the bottom pointer. This is the next pointer. So now what they want us to do is that the final answer should be something like this, right? This is the final answer and the values, final values and the values should be sorted. However, the way they have represented the answer is, uh, is in this fashion. So it looks like they were. Uh, like they are confused between whether we want the next pointers or the bottom pointers. But anyway, we got uh, got what they want. And now let's try to understand how we can do that. So this is actually what they want in sorted order. And they've already mentioned that this each individual sub list, they are calling it, they are calling this particular structure a sub list. So each sub list is already sorted. Let's talk about a naive approach and how to solve it. So if you think about it, a naive approach is that uh, you can take all of these elements. So over here, let's say they are one, two, three. Okay, so the numbering, let's do the numbering properly. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six elements. So we can store all of these elements in a in any data structure. You can take an array or a map or a hash map, whatever you want, and then you can use that to reconstruct this list. So what would be the time complexity for this? So we have to store these values in a uh, array or a hash map first. So that would take order of n space. Then we'll perform uh, sorting. So that's gonna take order of n log n time complexity. Okay, over here, mm, this is n. So when we are going from left to right, this is n. When we are going from top, top to bottom, this is m. So the total number of nodes is basically n into m. The maximum total number of nodes possible. So the time complexity would actually be order of nm into log nm. So is this acceptable? Let's check for the constraints. So the constraints state that the expected time complexity is order of n into m. So neither the time complexity nor the auxiliary space complexity is acceptable because we were having a time complexity of order of n into m into log nm and auxiliary, sp uh, and, uh, auxiliary space complexity of order of n into m. However, over here they want auxiliary space complexity of order of 1. So how do we do it? At first it seems hard. 
but there is a very easy way of doing it. Let us break down the problem into smaller sub, sub problems and try to solve them. So, as we said initially I had the uh, initially I said for example, let us consider a list with only two nodes. How can we solve it? Now, if I want to merge them into one, what I can say is let us also give some value 1, 5, 7, this could be let us say 3, this is 6, this is um, maybe 8. Okay, that is a good example I guess. So, what, what we can do is we can say consider them as two separate sub lists, right. So, this is my sub list A, this is my sub list B. Now, A and B are the pointers to the heads of them. What I can say is let us initialize another temporary node, give it a value 0. So, we can give it any value that is uh, smaller than the least value of these two. So, in the entire uh, list we are uh, we are having values from 1 to 10 to power 3 if you have seen correctly over here. Yeah. So, the element of the linked list is from 1 to 10 to power 3. So, the elements are from 1 to 10 to power 3. So, 0 value would not be occurring. So, 0 would definitely be the minimum. So, I can give a dummy value of uh, 0. Then I will say if which one is less A or B. So, I will say A is less. So, okay. Give a bottom pointer and point it to A. Move A forward to the next pointer. This is somewhat equivalent to moving the entire node from this and that is exactly what we will be doing in the question. So, we will move the entire node from here to here in order to space, save space because we do not want to construct new nodes because that would uh, incur additional space and we want the auxiliary space complex, uh, complexity to be uh, like uh, we want it to be order of 1. So, okay. So, A was pointing to 1, we pointed A 1 over here, it went from here to that. So, it got deleted from here, that is cool. Now, A is at 5, B is at 3, which one is smaller? I will ask which one is smaller, the, it, the system would say it is B is smaller. Okay. So, take my B from here. So, the entire structure moved, sorry. Okay, take my B from here, point it to here. Is that possible? Yeah, it is. So, that is done and point B to the next term. Now, my A is 5, B is 6, which one is smaller? Okay, so, this uh, 5 is smaller, so that is pointed by A. So, take that thing, point over here, move A to the next location. Now, which one is smaller, 6 or 7? So, 6 is smaller which is pointed by B. So, yeah, the drill remains same, we will point B to the next element. The head of the arrow actually stuck over there. Yeah, we will point uh, to the next element, we will pick C, we will pick B, we will point it over here, and uh, then we will ask which one is smaller, A or B? A is smaller, okay. So, pick up A and give, me, uh, give A to me. Picked up A, give A to it. Now, which one is smaller? So, A technically is not pointing to anything, so let us say A is pointing to infinity. Which one is smaller, infinity or 8? 8? 8 is smaller. So, pick that one up, point it over here, voila. So, we got our answer. So, the only problem now is that we are pointing to a 0, that actually was not even an element, that was a dummy value. So, to return the answer, we can simply say return temp next. Cool. I think that makes the logic clear that what can we do if we have only two linked lists like this, which can have any number of bottom pointers, obviously, but just a single linked list. But over here, we can have n link, uh, n sublink list like this. So, what can be done? So, what I can do is that I will only select two link list, right. So, firstly, I will select these two. Then, I will merge these two like the way I explained over here. So, when I will merge these two, I will get a single list list. So, let us say, let us just say that this is the link list I get on merging these two. Now, I am in a position to merge these two as well. So, I will now merge these two. When I merge these two, I will get a structure somewhat similar to this. Then I only have two left. I can merge these two as well. And then I can return my answer. Return answer. Cool. Pretty simple, right? Now, let us try to look at the code for this. The code is also simple. The intuition was somewhat difficult if you have not solved sub, uh, such questions earlier. On top of that, the explanation was pretty horrible. So, that could take some time to understand, but cool, I will, I am here to the rescue, do not worry. Yeah. So, what we are initially doing is that if the root next is null, so I, I have a single uh, node that means, so I will simply return root, 
else what else is that the root of next would be equal to flat root of next now what's happening over here so let me go back to the ipad let me explain it this okay so what's happening over there is that when you'll begin your algorithm so your okay okay so when you will begin your uh, begin your algorithm that uh, the node would actually be pointing over here so this is the node but as i said that i want to combine two and we were combining the last two right so i want to keep hoping my loss node so that's exactly what i'm doing i'll keep hoping my node to the next node to the next node to the next node till the time i get a node where it has no next and i can simply return it so this would be a return now i'll be standing over here right now i can do the merge operation on this as soon as i do a merge operation on this i can return this so this so this would be the return now a single list that would be a combination of these two lists something like this would be returned now the operation would be performed on these two then it would also return something back and henceforth we'll have a single operation to perform cool so that's what it's doing i'm just going to the next 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 node after that what i'm doing is i have to merge the current root and the root of next so how are we merging it it's the exact same logic i've been discussed so i'm i'm like picking a random number so not the random number but actually a smallest number that would be smaller than any of the values that can be present so over here i'm taking zero so this is a new node then i'm saying till that i'm a is not null and b is not null mm. till that i'm i'll do a comparison right now as i said that uh, whenever e any value of them gets uh, gets to a point when where it's null then i can assume it's infinity so because it's infinity that would mean that the other node so okay i think it was explanatory but still if you have any doubts so let's say a was now null so i said that a would a actually means infinity so in that case this is the node that was pointed by b right so this entire uh, entire sub list now can be appended to my answer so let's say this was the answer that was being pointed by temp now this entire list can be picked up and given over here i hope that made sense so that's exactly what we're doing so if a, a is not null right so if a is not null that means b would have been null simple logics so if that's the case point the temp temp bottom to a else point the temp bottom to b and now we are going to return new head but we are going to return the new head bottom because as we discussed the new head would actually be pointing to our dummy value so we want to uh, point this to the real value that's why we are pointing new head bottom let's try to run this okay so this works let's try to submit this perfect this also works that's great i guess so over here you can see that the total number of attempts are 3 and the correct submission count is 2 because i was just testing like what they are trying to do over there so once i was sure about the prop, like the blunder they have committed only then i made the video cool guys that's it from my end thanks a lot uh, let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section bye bye